All right, so today we're gonna to be working on our Dutch oven, doing some outdoor cooking today. We're gonna to warm up some charcoals and warm up the pot. We're gonna do a pork stew, and we're gonna pair that with a craft beer. But let's get started, get things heated up, and uh, soften up some onions and some garlic. And Once the onions just have softened up a bit, we're going to throw in a little bit of flour and a little bit of uh, beef broth. Try to create a nice little thick little paste. That will be the basis of our pork stew. Alright, we're just going to mix in the vegetables here and we're going to add in the pork. Just using some tangy Thai marinated pork that you can find at your grocery store. So we're just going to add that to the mix. Add a little bit more broth and let this simmer for a bit. And we're going to get to the craft beer that we're going to pair with this uh, meal. So the craft beer we're going to pair with this meal is Garrison's Spruce Beer. This is 7.5% strong ale so this has a nice mix of spruce and fur tips with a lot of molasses in there so I want something uh, that has a little bit of bite and that should go well with the tangy Thai I think we have nice sweetness and a little bit of hotness there so we're gonna add this to the stew Dutch oven is cooking. We're gonna check back on it in about an hour or so. It's about plus five degrees outside, so it might take a little bit longer to get this thing all cooked up. We're just using a standard beef stew recipe, and we just made some substitutions, such as pork, added maybe a little bit more tangy spiciness to it. Uh, but everything else is pretty much the same thing, so you know, just look up any beef stew. Enjoy the day outside. Guess what? It started to rain and uh, it started earlier than forecasted. So we're about an hour into the, the cook right now. So it's pretty much all done here. The last bit here is the biscuit. Seen this in a few other videos. I think it's brilliant. So we're gonna grab just a regular Pillsbury dough roll of biscuits and we're gonna layer that on top of the stew. And we're gonna put a lot more coals on the top so that we'll bake it on the top and kind of leave the bottom half kind of like a dumpling kind of situation. Really good and uh, that should take maybe another 20 minutes. So we're going to do that now and uh, eat soon. So we took a little bit longer to finish the biscuits. It started raining and then it switched to snow. Had to deal with coal management, but with that, we should be done by now. So let's take a look what we got. There you go. These are our biscuits ready to go. So I'd say we can bring this inside or have it out here.
All right, so underneath my temporary shelter here because it switched to snow. So, garter bowl, garter spruce beer. Let's give this a little taste. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Let's try a little bit of the spruce beer. Not bad, not a bad mix. You know, you have that that the little the little hotness or the spices we put in with the pork. We get the spruce that kind of counteracts that. It's actually pretty good. So we got our biscuit here, which again we had a little bit of trouble with maintaining the heat because of the rain and the snow, but. came out all right this is only my second time using the Dutch oven and uh, I got a lot to learn still and I don't have all the toys all the gear all the setup but right now it's making some delicious food put down in the comments what you think and I'll talk to you guys later to top up my Garmin Phoenix and that's almost ready to be uh, disconnected from the power and then I'm gonna top up my smartphone where we're going we don't have cell phone reception, so we're going to bring the DeLorme inReach 